Oh, hello. Excuse me. Um, I was just contemplating on the movie that I saw today. Um, the movie was called ABCs of Death. This movie consists of 26 sketches named A to Z, and each one is developed by a certain director. I believe that some of the sketches are developed by the same directors, but I, that could be a mistake. So, I've had a couple of hours to think about my reaction to this, and I just wanted to post it my short review of it. So, ABCs of Death, like I said, involves 26 um, segments of things that, basically, there's a word that is for each letter, and it tells you what the video is like, and what it has in it. I bring this up because a lot of people have been to, um, no way. I just want to give my opinion on this. I'm sure people have been talking about this movie. And a few months ago, I did come across two videos. One of them was an animated drawing involving a girl in a bathroom. That's all I got to say about that. And then the other one is where there's a claymation that involves a toilet. That's all I, those are the two videos that I saw and I read an article about a month ago talking about the movies that are sh that are unseen and one of them happened to be ABC's of Death. So I checked it out it's 210 minutes long and as soon as I got done watching it I have to say that it has really impacted me. It was probably one of the most effective movies I've ever seen on Netflix. And if I were to take all of the horror movies that I've seen throughout my life and compare it to the one that I just saw today, it would not match up. This movie is clearly 100 times more unusual than any other horror movie or weird movie I've seen. By the way, if you want to see a weird movie, check out the title Rubber. R U double B E R. It's a foreign film, and I found it kind of soothing. It was funny too. Anyway, so this is a movie that is definitely not meant for those who are prone to fainting, weak stomachs, just completely grossed out. And I really, really recommend this for those who are critics, for those who can handle this sort of material. And for those who aren't easily offended, but as much as I want to say that every single one has been very gory and I guess the effects were kind of cool, I'm here mostly to talk about the last section of it, section Z. It was directed by a Japanese person and there were several things in it that just made me feel most uncomfortable. I want to mention that there were there was a section about Nazis in there because that's just a thing. There was also um, the mention of the two missiles that ended up hitting Japan in World War II, and there was also a 9/11 reference that was drawn on a woman's boobs for some reason. I don't know why that is, but. I think I have to say that the last thing that I saw in that movie was unbelievable. I felt like all of the things that I have seen have come to life. Like there is nothing else in any other movies that I've seen that even come close to what I just experienced with the last letter of the alphabet. So at first I was appalled and I couldn't believe what I was watching, but it's true. Um, to sum it up, basically there's this person named Dr. Strangelove. I'm not sure if that's the real doctor's name, but um, let's just say that there is a Japanese woman who has a whole bunch of scars on her one side. And they're like cuts and stuff. I don't know if they're if it's raw or if it's like dried up or healed. 
But there's one part she's fighting this Doctor Strange love person, and this is probably the strangest character of all time, considering that there's a... I, I can't even say it. Um, let's just say that she has something that males usually have, and that it is um, probably ten times as large and is erect. So, while that's happening, she's trying to fight this, and then there's a part where the where the Japanese woman ends up grabbing like some sort of a like a food that's made in the kitchen, puts it in her crotch, and then starts firing at her, and then the chick ends up having a blade that is cutting all the vegetables being thrown at her into a pot that's used for cooking things. It's just weird. It's just, it felt like the movie was a dream. It didn't feel like something you would see on any normal original occurrences. I also want to point out that for those of you who have played Bioshock Infinite, the same the same Doctor Strange love I'm talking about. I'm just gonna say Strange love because I have no idea. Um, ends up having one of those uh, one of those pistols that uh, Booker Dewitt uses. That's basically what it was, but I think I think it was World War II based, and then it started to get a little more crazy. And I'm kind of glad that I actually bought an adapter so I could listen to it on my headphones, and it wasn't heard by. You know anybody else? Because this was one of the strangest and most unusual movies I've ever seen in my life. So, do I recommend you see this? Of course not. Those who are prone to, like I said, things being too disgusting, things being too gory, things being too sexualized, things that are just beyond somebody's comprehension, I definitely do not recommend watching this. Now, for those of you who actually do watch horror movies, who do this kind of stuff for a living, who make movie reviews, um, maybe you could see and then critique it, but I think this movie was actually a little too long. The only thing good I can think about this entire movie in general is the effects. I mean, the effects were actually really good. It was very, very graphically detailed, you know, that showed, like, artificial skin peeling off and such as, and, and you know, the blood effects were, I guess, kind of cool, but other than that, um, it's definitely not something that you should watch more than once. Because once you see the whole thing, you're like, okay, what else can they do? Not only that, but I just found out that at the end credits, they were showing a... They said they're going to actually do another movie of this called More ABCs of Death. And it's supposed to happen this year, but there has been no official announcement. But that's all it said in the the credits. So obviously, they must have been working on that before they actually finished post production on their uh, whole video. So, if you want to just find something that is the most unusual thing you can, and you're used to this kind of stuff and you've seen it so many times, then check it out. Like I said, if you're prone to to throwing up when you're seeing disgusting things or getting grossed out because I was almost grossed out once due to the last thing that was in the movie, then don't watch it. I highly doubt that you're actually going to enjoy it if you enjoy to watch it. Joke, as a joke, you probably could dare somebody to actually watch this whole thing and give them, what, 10, 20 bucks. But that's just a suggestion. That's not me, like, pressuring you to do that. So, just don't actually think that this is a good movie because it is downright strange. It is very, it's just, there are no words to describe how topsy-turvy this movie is. I can't think of any strong words to describe how obscure it is. I can use words like unusual, obtuse, crude. Um, that's it. That's all I can say. So, anyway, um, I'm going to get to make some more Bioshock videos for you because you guys have been waiting for that. If you haven't, then that's okay. I try to keep my channel active. So, anyway, you all have a good day, good night, whatever. I'm Splurisaw God, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. And try not to have bad dreams if you've actually seen this. Goodbye.